What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing the harmonic balancer on the 5.3 LM7. Should be a pretty relatively easy job. You just need a few specialty tools. What you'll need, you're going to need a like a flex plate stop so you can torque the bolt to 235 pound feet. We're going to be using ARP instead of the GM torque to yield fasteners. Uh, and the other thing you will need is just like it's a just an extended like all thread bolt so you can get the harmonic balancer on. Then we'll torque the GM bolt down to 240, make sure it's seated, and then torque the ARP bolt. We're getting real close on the 500 giveaway subscriber video. I think we've got less than 100 to go till we hit 500, and we'll be giving away those motor mounts. So if you haven't entered that drawing, you need to do so now by commenting on the video. I'll drop it down in the comments, and I'll put it in a box somewhere up here. But we're going to get to the video now. If you haven't already, subscribe. You can click the box in the bottom right-hand corner or you can click the box at the end of the video. Well, let's get to it. This is that flex plate stop I was talking about that'll make the job easier to torque it. Basically just bolt in place of your starter, has teeth that engages the flex plate so the crank's not able to spin, or spin, sorry. You will also need a torque wrench that goes up to 240 pound feet, your balancer, your old GM bowl, which is a 15 16 your ARP, which is an inch and 16 12 point, and the assembly lube and instructions for your ARP. I will also be using the ICT Billet Harmonic Balancer Install Tool. Basically, it's just a long piece of all thread with a couple washers and a nut. So first, you're just gonna get your harmonic balancer on as centered as you can. And then, I already pre-lubed these with grease. We're gonna start threading it into the snout of the crank. Till it bottoms out, which it has, and then we can start running our nut on. I'm gonna be using a long extension and just like a half inch ratchet to run it on as far as I can with the install tool. And then I will use the old torque to yield bolt to torque it to 240 pound feet to set it. And then we'll run the ARP on and torque it. Well, I didn't have a deep 15 16 and a half inch. So we're just going to use an adapter for our three eighths. I did lube up the outside of the harmonic balancer just to help with the seal, not tearing it up. That's about all we're going to be able to do with the install tool.
Now we're just gonna, we should have enough threads to engage our old torque to yield bolt. And we're gonna run it up to 240 pound feet. Using our torque wrench. I've got it set to just 100 pounds right now. We'll just slowly creep it on up there. All right, guys, I got the torque wrench set to 240 pound-feet now. Now that should seat the balancer in the proper position. Normally I wouldn't use my torque wrench to loosen it, but it's the only one that I have that's long enough to break it loose. Now that that is set, we're gonna use our ARP fastener lube. We're gonna put a little on the surface of both the crank and the harmonic balancer. We're gonna lube up the head of the bolt as well, and both sides of the washer, as well as the threads. All right, guys, I got the threads lubed up, got both sides of the washer. We're gonna go ahead and install it, and the torque specs for it are 235 pound-feet. The reason I went with ARP, yes, it is, you can almost buy 10 GM torque to yield bolts for the price of this one, but this one's reusable. So if in the future we do decide to go in with a cam or something we can just reuse it granted you can buy a whole lot of torque yield bolts and do a bunch of cam swaps so now all we gotta do back it down five pounds to 235 pound feet and run it on remember this is an inch and a 16th 12 point Set the torque wrench back to the static setting at 25. All right, guys, that's how you install an LS harmonic balancer. Everything seems to be in line. We'll run our belt soon. I still have to get the Sandin 508 AC burnt compressor get it mounted and then we can figure out what size belt we need and get everything ran if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe catch you on the next one guys